Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. This is a deck, it's not a deck yet, but it was submitted by Ben, otherwise known as No No Berts, No Beats. Uh, and he says, hey there, long time listener, first time deck review request. JTHD, another prominent uh, stream subscriber, says, pointed out the possibility of infinite mana in Pioneer using Gauntlets of Light and Axebane Guardian. Gauntlets of Light is an enchantment that's three mana. Uh, a creature gets plus O, plus two, and assigns their combat damage equals to toughness rather than power. So like a Dora in the Siege Tower. And you can untap it with three mana. An Axebane Guardian uh, adds X mana, where X is the number of creatures that Defender you control. So if you have, once you have four creatures with Defender out, you're making infinite mana, right? So, um... Essentially get four walls on the board and you can make infinite mana. This led to the Frank Laporte discard to put a handful of pieces together in the concept. Uh, the Discord channel is great. If you guys are subscribers, you should definitely uh, connect your Twitch and Discord accounts. If you're not subscribers, you should be subscribers. If you don't have Discord, you should get Discord. And that's, uh, that's how I feel about that. Uh, the attached link is just suggested cards, which is all of these. Uh, none of us have figured out the right number of walls, how many tutors, and if there should be more than one win condition. Current win cons include smashing face with a bunch of walls, infinite mana into walking ballista, infinite mana to tutor Colossus of Akros, and then monstrous infinite mana to mill opponent with fascination. What is fascination? Each player draws this card, you the top cards of their X and their... Oh, that's pretty good. Because you do during your turn, you mill both players, and then they get dead because they're going to have to draw first. Um, uh, I am honestly not sold on the aura tutors. Opens the Open the armory and Heliod's Pilgrim. Maybe just Cord and Finale. Uh, Court of Calling and uh, Finale of Devastation as ways to get your like Axebane Guardian, I guess. But the thing is, if you get... I'm not sold on the Aura Tutors. I do like being able to, f to search out the Gauntlets, though. Like, that's your win condition, right? Yeah, that seems good. So you have, like, Heliod's Pilgrim and Open the Armory. Search library for an Aura. Put it, on your, put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Um... Isn't there like a six mana one from Ravnica? I guess that'd be too old, right? Not even 15. He's about four minutes away walking. Yikes, that's insane. You guys are super close. I have a piece of food in my tooth, and it's, it's driving me insane. Uh, I think with a good number of walls and arcades, arcades, the strategist here, uh, whenever a creature defender enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Each creature you control with defender assigns combat damage because it's toughness rather than can attack as though it didn't. Yeah, this card's great in here. It's basically like a, an assault formation where you don't have to pay mana to make it attack. Um, same with high alert, I think. Uh, we can churn through our deck until we get what we want. Please give a shout out to JGHD, Haas Mania, Water Sports Drew, and Cyrus Since this is definitely a Frank Laporte team effort, nice. Let me know how much this thing costs, since I've never requested a real deck. If you have a quick pay, I can send a deck through that. Otherwise, let me know what to do. I'll just message you when this is over. Um, I like that these guys are just literally talking about where in, in, uh, in Microsoft they are. Do we want Mnemonic Wall? Sylvan Cariad seems like a must, right? Like, Four of Axebane Guardian also seems like a must. Angelic Wall? This seems like trash. Really? Why? Yeah. Why would we want to float? Uh, let's look up Defender. I'm gonna look it up over on Scryfall because that's easier for me. Do 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 do. Mac B. Do 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 do. Let's go to the bookmarks menu. We can just bring this over here. I think. And then we can go text, defender, formats, legal, and pioneer. And we're probably going to limit it to bant because we, because we can. Uh, at l at most of these colors. All right, you ready? It's gonna be like six hundred, seventy three. All right, not bad. Um, okay, crone horse o four with defender. Yeah, jelly wall is good because when you when you have, uh, Arcades out or something that lets them attack, you have a four four flyer. Hmm. Do you say Arcades, or do you say Arcades? I don't know. What is it? Oh, it is, I think I it mean, is Arcades. It could be either. I mean, like, but there's no reason to not pronounce it Arcades, you know? No, there's no I, right? Doesn't need an I in there for Arcades? I don't think so. Hmm. 
I'm heading out soon and probably won't catch any of the actual gameplay. I picked Angelic for floating. Also, high alert works as an alternative to gauntlets. Oh, because they both... Oh, yeah, I like that better, actually, because you don't... Yeah, definitely high alert as a four of them. All right, let's go through these. Um, Arcades of Stratus has to be like a three or a four of, right? Definitely four of. Not close. It's legendary. That's my only concern. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It, like, it turns on your whole gameplay unless you draw a card every time you play a creature. It's That's really true, good. I guess. It's definitely a four of. Colossus of Akros is probably like a two of. Maybe it's just a one of, actually. I can see this being just a one of. Because you can you can search for it. If you make infinite mana, then you finale for infinite mana. Yeah, it sounds like a Greek-based sword. Yeah, so like it, it could be a longy. Uh, Basilica Guards, no. Don't care. Clinging Anemones, don't care. Colossus is good. Consulate Skygate, 0-4 for 2. This is like the same as Angelic Wall, only instead of flying it has reach. And it's susceptible to any sort of artifact removal. I think it's Arcades Nuts. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, anything for 6 man? I'm just off of. Uh, okay, tapped. No. O seven 7 is good, but 5 mana, no. I really feel like we want cards that cost less than 3. <laughs> 06 for two. That's a, that's a big Seems boy. Fine. I think the 04 for the flying is just better at that point. Uh, that guy's good. I wish it didn't go to your hand, though. Cerulli Caretaker? Hold on, we'll get there. I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. Um, Glade Watcher is a 3 3 for two. No. Surreal Caretaker for a little ramp action? What's Surreal Caretaker? I just said that. I literally said that exact thing. Oh, was that the one that we were just looking at? Look, here's a Hover Barrel. That's an 06 for, for, for 3. Well, that's just worse than... I just got flying, though. High Alert's interesting because you need 5 creatures instead of 4. Jeskai Barricade. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. Has flash. Yeah. I wish it floated. Uh, Guardians is 06 for three. Hornet Nest is interesting. I don't feel like we're attacking with that. Nuanic Wall is fine as like a one or two of, I think. Ooh. Order of Ojitai, when it enters the battlefield, if you reveal a dragon card or control a dragon, you can draw a card. Um, Order of Ojitai just has to be. This is just has to be better than Angelic Wall, right? This is what I was. This is the card I was looking for. They're both 0-4 flying defenders for two, right? But this, if you have arcades, you get to just draw a card, right? Oh yeah, that seems better. Like that's what I was thinking. I was like, I know there's like a Wall of Omens type card. That's legal. Yeah, Orator is just a better. It's just literally. Um, I, I would almost say strictly better here. Wall of Essence is an 0-4 for 2 that whenever it is dealt combat damage, you gain that much life. That's that's helpful. Portcullis Vine, sacrifice a creature with defender, draw a card. Resolute Watchdog, sacrifice a target creature you control gets indestructible. That's actually not bad. I could definitely see that playing a part. Here's Surly's Caretaker, an 0-3 for 1. You can tap an untapped creature you control to add 1 mana. So this and something else. Oh, the dog is good because it can save your wall when you're trying to combo. Well, or it can save like your your arcades yeah that seems good let's put that guy in alright hold on I also like Teo create an 0-3 white wall creature like he just makes two 0-3s which are 3-3s in this deck gives you hexproof alright so we're gonna put Teo and watchdog in here is it two words do I just not have any I guess, oh, I don't think I drafted any of this set on on Magic Online. That's funny. Oh, no. Why did you do that? Was it Angelic? Is that what the wall was called? What was the life gain wall that I just took out? God dang it. I have no idea. Wall of Life? What was it called? Uh, is Wall of is Wall of Reverence? No, that's that was too soon. Wall of Essence. There you go. 
Nailed it. This is not legal either, right? Okay. What about this one? No, just checking. Okay, we'll just put one of there in there because we're not sure. Teo is the other card. Okay. Uh, thing in the ice. Next 60. There's the Wall of Essence. We just had to go to the next page and find it. I like the 06 Flyer. For three? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Why not the 04 Flyer for two? Well, why not both? Because you're just not going to have enough room. Sacrifice a wall, draw a card. Hmm. It was okay. Wall of Denial is not legal. We just checked. Yeah, that guy would be the nuts. An 88 flyer. Smash. With hexproof. Okay, so... Yeah, I think this is... I think we just went through all of it. We're definitely going to need more arcades. Arcades. Look at them here, and then look at them here. This is a totally different dragon. I definitely think it's a mistake to only play three. All right, I'll play four, Michael. Okay? It's the nut. Like, these are just win cons, so we can just do one and one. I don't think we want Court of Calling, because I think it's just worse than... I guess it's not. I don't know. Jeez. It also gives you combo pieces. We also want four of these for sure. Oh, God, no. I... Dang it. All right, so Temple... Let's go to the ones we have now. Four Temple Garden. Breeding. Four Breeding Pool. What's the other one? Uh, hollowed. Okay, so these are going here as win conditions. So this one has to attack, which is problematic. Yeah. I don't think this gets enough that we really care about it. Like, what does it do? Uh, when enters battlefield, you return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Like right now, our deck doesn't actually have any of those. Okay. One four sun petal. We're very heavy white and blue, or white and green rather. And what does this do? And many creatures a defender you control. Sure. One, two. One, two. One. And then maybe like three fabled passages. This leaves us 50 cards. I'm not entirely sure about. These are the cards I'm not entirely sure about. Wall of Essence, Salt Formation, Guy's Blessing. Because like we already have four Arcades and four High Alert, which I think are better than, than a Salt Formation. I think High Alert's just better than a Salt Formation. Because it also doubles as a combo piece. Hmm. You should probably play four High Alert, not three, right? Oh, yeah, we are. I just didn't have a fourth, I guess. I think these are good for two drops. These are good for three drops. Um, uh, no, we're making the infinite mana combo, but the butts, like both of these, this allows us to untap, and this is just a fantastic win condition that allows us to draw infinite cards, you know, essentially. We definitely want ways to search out the I agree. I'm just trying to figure out which one it is, which one's better. Assault plus infinite gives infinite creature pump. Hmm. That's true, but we only have so much space, right? So, like, if we have... We can't have 12 of these. And still, like... Because I feel like if you have... I don't know. Crashing drawbridge is interesting, actually. 
What does that do? It gives creatures you control haste. I can see like this is a one of. So like if we play this, we can actually search out a crashing drawbridge, give our guys haste. I don't know. We'll see. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of like I'd have to practice this and see if it, if it's as good as I think it is. I think we can kind of overlook fascination. I think that's too cute, especially for double blue. I just don't think we want to have that much blue. I don't. I, I think you're right about the open the armory and the Heliod's Pilgrim because we can rely on high alert for a good amount of it. I think we do want like two gauntlets of light. Well, it's a combo piece, right? Right, but we already have high alert as well, which untaps a guy. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a lot of of light. I did not expect this much of light. Watch Gauntlets this has like three things. I don't own any cards that have the word Gauntlets in them. That's crazy. I guess there's only four total, so. Okay, so this is 49 cards. We need we get 11 more cards. Um Watchdog is cute. I think we could probably play... We have no way to get the Assault Formation if we just play it as a one-of. Alright, if you guys want four Gauntlets, we can do four Gauntlets. I just worry about drawing a Gauntlet at the wrong time, because I think this deck does have legs as like just a, a way to attack with like four fours and and things. But so we're definitely playing. I think at least one of these, like one, not one, one of the two. I'm just not sure which is better. The problem is searching out. You can't search out a walking ballista, right? So I don't think that's actually as good as a win of a win condition. Walking ballista is a nice clean win condition, though, because you know you just shoot them. Don't forget Oko. Wow, that's. Shit. Wow. Oh, they're not wrong. <laughs> God, they're not wrong. How do we deal with an Oko when they just go, like, turn your arcades into a... I guess that's fine. Okay, you can go... So our one condition's gonna be what? Uh, you just get Colossus of Acrosa. Acros. And then, uh... You know, you do this for infinite... You search out Colossus of Acros with it. Use the infinite mana to also just pump it into this guy and give it monstrous. So that it's like a 30-30 haste with, with trample and it's indestructible. Oh, okay. Because this gives haste and plus X plus X if you do it for 10 or more. Maybe play one of each. One of each what? Yeah, but well, you can't search out Walking Ballista. So you're just going to have to draw this one one of Walking Ballista. I meant one of each of the those two cards. Well, I'm going to play more than one. I'm going to play like three or four of each. But I just want one of them. Because one has to be better than the other, which I think it's I think it's finale, because it gives haste. I could see us playing Duskwatch Recruiter just to just to start just for the infinite mana to search for our guys, but the problem you can't get gauntlets of of light with it, so you'd have to have like. So this is 54. We get six more slots, which is a good amount. So I think we'd put some enchantment searchers in here, right? Well, you have eight of these. I think you're going to draw at least one naturally. 18 creatures. That's a good amount. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18... I can see Resolute Watchdog being good. Poor Angelic Wall, call it a day. Removal could be good. What's good removal in these colors? Oh, we have, like, stone zero removal. We do need some removal. I think it's pronounced finally. Maybe. 
Uh, search for an aura. We could also play this like. It might be better to play like a two-two split. Sure. Because one, you're getting a creature out of it. Uh, we do not have counter spells in rule. You can see the deck, right, Sammy? We have no removal or no counter spells right now. Um. I think I like the creature better. Hmm. Teferi is interesting. It hurts me to suggest it too, but I think it's actually, it might be correct. Three Teferi could be very, very good. And we get one more card here. Maybe we want just another more Crashing Drawbridge. Your prescription is ready to be picked up at the All Greens Pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay? Switch to Fairy. Three mana one? Yeah, because then they can't interact with our combo. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um. In theory, we don't need that much removal because we have a bunch of defenders to block, right? Yeah, I agree. There's not really tons of creatures that we're like really scared of here. At least I don't think so. I do like Drawbridge because we play Drawbridge on two and Axbane on three. It lets us activate the the Axbane Guardian to to gain some life. Let me let me put some cards in my. I could probably buy the Watchdog. I could probably buy Gauntlets of Light. I don't know how much Arcades is. Let's go trade and see what happens. But 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 buddies. Dang it, Cardbot. Teferi's only 62 now. Maybe that guy's going down too. Man, Mana Confluence up to 20 tickets on here. Jesus. Is the O-Ring from RTR good here? The O-Ring? What are you saying right now? Soul Tide? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna find out. Enchant non-land permanent at the beginning of upkeep that player sacrifice and player X Rex is coming across. Interesting. I'll put it in the sideboard and I'll try to figure out why you like that. Okay, so we're looking up gauntlets. They're like, we don't have any. Is it Gauntlet? Singular? He's like, no, we don't have that card. I'm like, oh, geez. Of Light? Am I just misspelling Gauntlet? Probably not. They probably don't have this. Oh, there it is. Gauntlet's... What did I do wrong? Two... Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four. High alert. That's probably super cheap, too. What else are we missing? Resolute Watchdog? I'll put four of those. Just because I have no reason not to. Unless they end up being expensive. Arcades, how much are you? This guy's going to be like 10 tickets because he's like a commander dude. 32 cents? Deal. I'll just get three of them. Finale? But, but you need four. Or do you already have I one? have one, Michael. Okay. How much is this finale? If it's like two bucks, I'll probably just... Sn oh, it's like 10 tickets. Yep, nope. Really? Wow. I'm out. How much is Teo? I'll grab some Teos while I'm here, too. Oh, look at that sweet anime art. How much is that one, I wonder? Teo is 002. How much is anime art, Teo? 25 cents? Yeah, that's worth it. I got a dollar to spare. Dollar for some anime! Okay, I think that's good for now. That should get some of the basics down. Two tickets for all this? Oh, yeah. Magic Online, you are where we want to be. All right, so Fable Passage, Teferi, and Finale is what we need. Why do you like Soul Tithe? The beginning of the upkeep of Enchanted Permanence Control. So I put it on your guy on my turn. During your turn, you have to sacrifice unless you pay X for X's mana cost. 
It's pretty annoying. Wouldn't it like... Isn't like Oblivion Ring just better though? Is that illegal? I don't know. It feels like an Oblivion Ring had to be printed since Return of Ravnica, right? Wow, it has not. That's insane. <sighs> Alright. Um, this is 60 cards. I think we're good on this 60. Finale of Devastation seems good. Because you can search your graveyard too, which is super nice. Orator lets us draw a card if we have an Arcades. Teferi is a real scumbag. Court is gone. Um, I don't think we want Guy's Blessing. I like Wall of Essence in the sideboard. It's displayed by card view. The green white planeswalker that is Doran. Oh, I know what you're talking about. What's her name? Um, Hwatli. Uh, each creature you control sends combat damage to each other's toughness rather than its power. You gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. That's interesting. Yeah, but where would we fit that in? I don't know, but I kind of like it as a one of. What does the other Hwatli do? There's one of them that like has to do with... Uh, you can like use the greatest power among creatures you control. Okay. What was the other green white one? Wasn't there another green white one? I don't think it was this one, but maybe it is. Meh. What's her name again? Ooh. Wow. Do we have Oko? No. I guess we can put Oko in the sideboard, but I don't like what's the point? Like we're just trying to like this dude's just a scumbag. Don't do it. I like spell pierce. I like like three spell pierce in the side. Oh, yeah, we're not we're light blue though is the thing. Eh. What do you have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sources of blue. I don't know what you did with. What does that mean? Does that mean yes or no? What does yeah, that mean? Yeah, it's fine. I think you can play spell pierce. Really? Yeah. Or negate or whatever. Yeah, I like negate better. Well, then, there we go. These are the ones we want. One, two. Three. The problem with Gauntlets of Light I'm, is that like you have to have an Axe Bane Guardian. Yeah, otherwise they're useless. Otherwise they just don't do I can anything. see cutting two and playing two of the the search for an enchantment. The late. Pilgrim? Yeah. But I just wish we had a, a, more of a package for those, you know? Is there any like, is there any Oblivion Ring like effects? There's got to be, right? Is there a card like Gauntlets of Light that's in equipment instead? Like Umbra Mantle or something? That's not legal. Maybe you're not. Dang it. Uh, untap and equipment. It's going to be like, no, there's no... A creature is plus three. Whenever a creature attacks, it doesn't untap. No. Okay, that's not it. Oh, Detention Sphere is great. That's literally a... That's literally what we're looking for, yes. Three Detention Spheres in the side B. Take out Assault Formation for now. Oh, Banishing Light. Duh. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have Detention Sphere than Banishing Light, I think. Unfortunately, neither of these are auras, so you can't search for them with, like, Heliod's Pilgrim, which would be sick. Hmm. You doing okay? I like Teo for the Hexproof, actually. I'm wondering if this is just better. I'd rather play two of those over two of the Gauntlets a lot. Let me see what Haas Mania is looking at here. One Arcade. That's interesting. I think Arcade is one of the strongest cards in the deck. Jotty Offshoot's pretty interesting. I like Walking Ballista, but you can't search for it with Finale. Or Court of Calling. Deck and deck. Uh, I like Rest in Peace for the sideboard. 
Wow, you have two healed spellcrafts and four open the armory? Jeez, that's a lot. And you have four gauntlets of light? Jeez. Interesting. What does Wall of Vines do? Oh, it's just an O through with reach? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um I wish Wall of I wish Wall of Roots was illegal, that'd be gas. Uh let's put rest in peace in the signboard. People are doing some shenanigans. Uh add one, two, three. Like I think I do like Heliod's Pilgrim in the deck. Yeah, you like two of those over two of the gauntlets. Because you're getting the same effect, right? And you can also finale of devastation for Heliod's Pilgrim, which kind of gives you eight gauntlets instead of just four, which I think is just so much better. Uh, don't need to open. Don't think soul time. Yeah, let's try it like this. This is going to be our initial, our initial run. So I need Tefri. Jesus, this guy is so expensive. It's unreal. Uh, fabled. What else? Finale. Why is it 10 tickets? Because people like it, man. In what format? All of them. It's only playing like what, Commander? No, it's actually played in Modern. It is? Yeah, you make infinite mana. What deck? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, devoted Devastation, Devoted Company, Devoted Devastation, Green White Devoted Vizier, Devoted Stoneforge Vizier, White Black Red Green, White Blue Green, you name it, man. Hmm. Four of. And we're running these cards from ManaTraders.com, which is a great subscription service that you guys can get 20% off of for your first three months with the link and promo code in the description. So definitely check them out if you're looking for a way to rent physical paper magic cards or even digital magic. Check, on. check, 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 check them out. It is mutual, my dudes. Great picture. God, you're just, you're just gorgeous. Yeah, I know it. Do you? Yeah. That's why I post on the gram. Ch 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 check it out. Let's go, mana traders. I got my mobile and audio only. Can you please make sure to include a single fascination in the deck? What? Can you please make sure to make a single. F Wait, what? Really? It's double blue. I mean, yeah, we can do it. I don't know what to cut, though, now. Um, I guess cut a crashing drawbridge. I do not like that at all. What? Fascination seems really bad. I just don't think it's necessary. Like, you have to just draw it on its own, like it's a one-of. Like, you have no way to search it up. The best part is that you have ways to search up your win conditions. Like, you can search up Colossus, you can search up Arcades, you can search up Heliod's Pilgrim to get a Gauntlet, so you can search up Axe Bane Guardian. So you have this one random fascination that you just hope to draw in your games, and it's kind of just weird. Yeah, it seems terrible. I don't necessarily agree with it. I mean, I guess we'll just cut a drawbridge for it. If It's also double blue, and we don't have that many blue sources, which is problematic. Like, we have four breeding pool... Uh, three Fabled Passage, four Hollowed, and one Island. So we only have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve blue sources. I guess we do have... We have Axe Bane Guardian and, and Sylvan Carry at it, which is super nice, but... Like, if we had a way to search for this, I would be all, all about it, but we don't. Like, so I think going with creature sources, because we have Finale, 
is really what you want to what you want to be doing. Which is why Heliod's Pilgrim is great for Gauntlets of Light. You said okay, okay, don't play it. I know, but I'm just I just want to make sure my I just want to make sure that that my thoughts are, you know. Ch 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 check it out. Did you see the uh, new last week tonight? Uh, maybe. Had to do with Trump and the Syrian border. Yes, yes, I did. It's comical. What a s show that was, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, I actually do like one bane fire over fascination. That's true. It's uncounterable and it's infinite, and it's also one red instead of double blue. Oh my God, mana traders! What is the deal, dude? Did you do the trick? It's that that doesn't have to do with the, how fast the cards get to you. I said that last time. Oh, you're right. You did say that. <laughs> It's like, come on, man. Ch ch Sunny ch ch D will burn your throat. All right, let me try one more thing. Sorry about the the weight, guys. Uh, three of these dudes. Again, the problem is like drawing your one of Banefire, though. Like, I love Banefire, but unless we have a way to like get it with our infinite mana it becomes hard to get it if, if that makes sense Michael B will burn your throat Arcades is going to have you drawing a lot infinite mana and nearly infinite draws with Arcades and a bunch of defenders. Uh, I don't think we want Once Upon a Time. And Duskwatch Recruiter, Recruiter again only gets creatures, so I, don't I just don't think we need it. But we'll see. I just don't know how much... Uh... Oh, we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. Maybe we want three high alerts instead of four, and one assault formation. I don't know. I like high alert because you can you can you can combo with it if you have like Axe Guardian and five walls. What's the actual text on assault formation? Assault formation. Uh... Oh no, sorry. I meant the, okay. The one in the deck. High alert. Yeah. Uh, each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have defender, and then you can untap a creature. Okay. For Quatros Menos. Submit. Walking Ballista is great, but like we said, you can't search for it. So again, like you either want four of these creatures or you just want none of them, I think. Because like we're going to have something like Finale of Devastation or Court of Calling. So it's just great um, to search out your creatures or your combo pieces or whatever. But if you if you have no way to search for your one-ofs, it just doesn't make sense to make them win conditions. Which is why I love Colossus, because you can actually search for it and also give it Trample and Haste and and all that nonsense so the one problem I'm seeing for this deck is that um, the combo is probably going to take a really long time we got online. time like in real life you can always just go okay make infinite mana well, you don't need infinite you only need like 20 wait what's the difference between these two pioneer clay why are there two pioneer two player cues what the f that's weird. Is it just so popular that they, they threw up two Qs? That's weird to me.
Okay, we might need more walls. That's a concern, because we want at least four walls in play. Slaughter the strong. Interesting. I'll keep this hand. I'm watching praying it's not three in the morning. Wow, that's funny because three in the morning is not my, uh, you know, normal time. I think we just got a white here. Right, so that's why I said we need three. We need three walls. We want four walls because the the minimum mana you can make is three. Right, you have to you have to have three in order to just untap it and break even. So you want four walls. So bloop. Why do my opponents always get amazing mill hands and I can draft two lucky clover, three merfolk, two overall apprentice? Yet only hit one or two in a game. Um. Valid questions. Now look, a Fabloop and a Mox Amber. This is a weird deck. I do like Jotty Offshoot. I think it's a fine, uh, it's a fine gain life card. Interesting. They milled themselves too. This is gonna be. What about the red black planeswalker? Okay, for one, that guy is in conspiracy. He's not legal in any format. And for two, we would have to change the entire deck. Uh, it's just Axe Pain Guardian. Yeah. Yeah, but then we don't draw a card from this guy. Okay, sure, wait. There's not a lot of pressure on us. We can actually wait. That's fine. You could play the Salt Formation this turn, though. Or high alert, whatever. I'd rather just have creature down, right? It still draws as a card. Yeah, Fabled Passage is like 11 tickets right now. His opponent on Keith's combo deck. I don't know what that is. But maybe. Look, they are. <laughs> I've not heard of this deck. This is intriguing to me. Oh, you're never going to understand it. Why not? It's really complicated. How you know, so? Do you know what this guy does? Yeah, he lets you play legendaries from the graveyard, right? Yeah. And legendary spells are cheaper too, right? Well, yeah, yeah. You exile two legendary cards, and then each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card. So you exile like two Mox Amber, and then you can play like Oath, Emery, Urborg. Yep, Mox Amber. Sack that guy. Tap the Mox Amber. Play the Emery. Oh, you just loop the Ambers. Got it. Yeah. Is it? Oh God! I don't know what's happening right now. Do we just lose? Is this game? I think we're dead. All I did was play Heliod's Pilgrim, man. I think his combo is also faster than ours.
not trying to be a downer, but like this kind of magic is just like the most unfun kind of magic to me. Like, I just don't understand wanting to play a deck like this and just like not interacting with your opponent in any way, shape, or form. Like, I just feel like magic's a weird game to play if you just enjoy solitaire. But we're also playing a combo. Right, but I'm not like, uh, mine's not like going off in one turn doing nothing, you know? Like, I mean, like, I'm actually like, you have a lot of time here. And we win in one turn rather than like doing all this nonsense. I think they're going to kill us this turn. I don't know how, but I assume they can. I Maybe that's true. I don't know. It just feels different for some reason. I'm guessing at some point they start pointing the mill triggers at us, right? And they just mill us out. I think. No, they mill themselves oh, out. Oh, they mill themselves out. Okay, yeah. I mean, they already have they already have that Jace on the board. That's amazing. Didn't they went on like turn? They went on turn four, I guess. Was that even turn four? <laughs> Might have been turn three. Yeah. Was, were we on the play or the draw? That was turn. That was turn four. Yeah. All right, so, uh, huh. The gates aren't even good here. The combos was the creature based. Teferi can come out. Watchdog can come out. We'll bring in rest in peace. Two negates seems fine. Okay, got a white. Rest in peace. I wish there were better walls. crack and get a white here. <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of your stuff for CFB. I haven't written for CFB in over a year. For almost two years, probably. Let's rest in peace. Brother, we all wish there were better walls. <laughs> Solid. Okay. Oh, they're milling us now. Aggressive. Goodbye, Colossus. Our one win condition. The, like okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest right now. Uh, I feel like being able to get four walls on the board to start netting infinite mana is really ambitious. Yeah, like I think that's I think that's our our real bottleneck. Like, like if you're gonna play a, a, an Axe Bane Guardian and they're gonna play an Oko, like you're just not gonna win that game. Yours are showing... Oh, yours are showing red and black ones. I didn't look at the red and black ones. I just looked at the... Uh, the band colored ones. Whew. 
Okay. Yep, no blocks. <coughs> hmm. Four mana, huh? I mean, we just have to play this, really. And then we can play this guy for blue and our green. We got drawbridge. So we have three right now. We can go add three. It doesn't do it though. We're like one mana. We're like literally one wall shy here, which is kind of comical. You like what I'm doing here? No. <laughs> no! All right, well. Three more walls, you could build a house. Okay. Yeah, how do we actually win now? Well, you see, Michael. Uh-huh. We can still finale for like 400. Give all our guys haste and, and four, plus 400 plus 400. Okay. Okay. Okay, I do say what, what, what? I don't know what that means. Don't you know what I do say? I don't. I have no idea what you're saying right now. What did happen? You say what happened? Oh, they stole our thing. Sunny D. So one, two, three. We have seven mana right now. That's fashionable late to the party. He's like, I know about the wall deck. I'm going to take your wall. <laughs> he, he did say that. Uh, what, is, what can we go search for? Nothing really exciting. Hey, man, if you sack that food token, do you get your wall back? No. <laughs> That's how it should work. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. I was weird for him to take that wall and not one of the guys that makes mana, right? I don't know, man. I just work here. Do you? It's sure. Just four. Yeah, four is the, the top of our curve. I'm just going to get an arcades. Search the library. It's going to turn into an elk now. Oh, that's right. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think we can ever beat a Noko, sadly. It's just so... Yeah, it's just such an unfun card. Oh, you required this one creature? Well, that's too bad. All right, so... This is a big dream, I think. It's a really big dream. Like, a combo that requires four pieces, that's pretty hoof. It requires four, no, four walls, plus gauntlets, plus something like a finale to do something. See, it's like a six-card combo, right? Like, you need this, four walls, any four walls, at least one Axebane Guardian. One, one, two, three, four, so. And... Um, a gauntlet. And one of those enchantments. It's or a, a six card Tyler. combo. Where four creatures that don't really do much have to survive. It's really hard to. I don't know what buzzword unfun activated means. I'll keep this hand. I'll keep it. Oh, I like turn th turn three arcades, arcades. You know, you know, you know my dudes. They're just gonna play Oko again. Oko too good. Oh, like they they started on Botanical Sanctum. Hmm. Commune. That's an interesting card. Rose Thorn Acolyte. Oh God, this is like Just Guy Ascendancy. It has to be.
Are you okay? We're just making a song. Oh, they are they in tune with Aether Deck? Okay, white and black, green. Oh, Oko. Oh, God. Can you imagine if they just go Oko and they're like, turn your guy into 3 3, and I'll be like, I'll slam. I'm going to smash this monitor. That would be a very costly mistake. I agree with you. Okay, they communed. They could probably get Jeskai Ascendancy. They put Aether Hub Forest, Rose Thorn, Unbridled Growth in the graveyard, so they literally got the card I said they would. All right, let's do let's do the deeds here. Quick, um, play a wall. I'm going to Michael. Quicker. I can't go any faster. Why would you play that one? Because I want to get this on board as fast. Like, are you okay? Sure. I think if we don't die next turn, we're okay. Well, I was hoping for a land there, but all right. Okay. Well, that's not going to do it, but. All right, you get a turn. One, two, three. We could live the dream next turn, potentially. Okay. Let's see if they can kill us. They probably can, because that's how this deck works. No, I think they need it. A... Never mind. What? Nothing. What? They, guess... figured, they figured it out. They got a thing. I thought they still need an attacking creature, don't they? I don't know what they need. Like, this deck is so weird to me. It always has different things it can do. It feels like they don't have enough to go off this turn, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh my god, are we going to be able to do it? Okay, that's okay. You get one mana here. And they play a land this turn yet? They did. No. Yes? Yes, Who's they played an say? island. Well, I, I just can say. Who is you to say? I hate you. Ah. Okay, we did it. Yeah, this is like their setup turn. I think we won the game. Fuck. <laughs> Since we literally needed that. No, uh, you can still win without it. I guess, yeah, I guess we can. All right, hold on. Let's figure out how we can do this. Plus, we have infinite mana. We can just put it on the board. Okay, we have to go drawbridge here. Tap this for four. Use lights for three. Yeah, then we, that's the infinite mana. But then we don't have the mana to untap it as well. Right? One, two, three, four. If we play this, it's four. So one, two. Well, we need to put another defender on the board regardless. Okay, so if we play lights on here, we can tap it for three to untap it. Blah. Are we like one mana shy here? I think so. You don't even know. You're just saying that, right? Well, we play defender we have to and then we have four five six mana left over is that enough i think that's enough it's enough right i think that's enough yes because it gives us four mana from walls alone five mana from this and six mana from this so we can play it and untap it with that six mana and then we start netting one mana each time yeah we have just enough okay i think we did it i don't think we need to land uh so we're gonna go white 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 four whites Gauntlets on this jabroni. One, two. Untap. Add one, two, three, four. You can all just be green, right? Unt no, because then you can't untap it. Oh. This is going to be. Oh god, this is tedious. Yeah, that was my other problem with this combo. Guys! <laughs> Why are we doing this? Okay, it's okay. Oh god, cancel. We're getting there. Well, you know, whether we win this game or not, we spiritually won the game. I agree with you, but I don't see why we wouldn't win this at this point. Misclicks? It's true. 
I mean, the Kethis combo is slower. I don't know. Maybe this is slower on Magic Online. Yeah, in real life, this combo would be much faster. Uh, one, two. Yeah, this is. Would adding another. I was going to say, would adding another guy to the board help, but we don't actually have any other dudes. Nope. Please stop doing that. One, two. One, uh, one. I swear if I had more walls, it'd be better. All right, we have 10 mana. Should we just play this guy and then play Finale? It's not enough mana. Oh, God, you're right. You need, like, 20 more mana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Our opponent's like, why are you doing this to me? And I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I don't feel like it's taking that long, right? Like, we're only like a minute less than him on the clock, so. I mean, can we just actually give... We can just finale here, right? For 10. Does that work? Colossus has Defender. Yeah, you have to give it... Yeah, you give it Monster... Yeah, what does that matter? Oh, because we can play it and then actually make more mana? Yeah, that makes sense. Do we care about that, though? I think we just if we just finale here for eleven, right? We just win, right? How? Because it gives trample. It gives it gives plus X plus X in haste. So, yeah, well, I guess we'll have enough attackers. Yeah, yeah, okay, we can. do These it. guys can all attack. Everything can attack okay, here. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like this just wins us the game. Search library. Let's get. Uh, doesn't matter. Not really. Orator of Ojitai, because it has float. Draw a card from that. Draw a card from that. Now they're all... Look at this. this look at all this damage we have here, guys. Pretty sure Farseek is not legal in Pioneer. It's not. Oh, man. You can't even let me attack after I did all that? Dang. Are right, you playing Jeskai Ascendancy? Wow. You can't beat us. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. Totally like friggin' <sighs> Lightning strikes our guy, and then we just concede. Does Tear Shield might seem good here? Giving us hexproof? Why? Why? I don't know, don't they like win by bane firing? No, it was M thirteen. Yeah, there's almost like that ain't that ain't legal. What makes you think they win by bane fire? What how does that deck win? How does the in the chat, anyone know how to just guy sentence he wins? Because there's multiple different ways you can do it. You make infinite mana, you bane fire them, you can sprout swarm a million times. What turn was that? I don't know, like five, six. The one with Sylvan Awakening. I don't even know what that is. Uh, it was turn five for them, and then we went to our turn. Turn five, yeah. We that was a turn five win with our walls, baby. They win with Sylvan Awakening. Whatever. That like untaps your lands and you attack with them, right? Right. Yeah. I don't want this hand with this. <laughs> I'll keep it because we have Orator and, and Double Arcades. So it's like we're drawing two cards because you can reveal them both. Did you like my little laugh there? Just kidding. You can't do that. No one liked your little laugh. <laughs> and no one alive liked it because it's. No one alive? No one. Nobody? Nobody dead either. No ghosts? No ghosts? No ghosts. I don't know, man. I know ghosts like a good laugh like that. I ain't afraid of no goats. Oh, they mold to five? How can they win? Got him! That's the way they board ah, Oko. Got him! If they weren't running Oko in the main deck, they don't deserve to be running him at all. If you don't Oko... You are Joko. If you don't Oko at my best, you want Oko at my last. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. It doesn't even make also, any sense. Like I said, molest. You won't Oko at my la my last. <laughs> Buddy, I know what Sylvan Awakening does. I don't know why you're telling me this. That does make a lot of sense, though, because then the creature is so... Uh, Jeskai Sentence actually untaps them all. All right, so we are really, like, getting... I want to get an island here, but I also want the Sun Petal Grove to come and play untapped. So I guess we just get a forest? Ooh, I don't like that. We really want to be able to play our Arcades. We can't play anything, though. We can. What, what are they going to do? They're a combo deck. We got They're going to win. They're literally going to win the game. 
No, they're not. Oh God. Oh we'll God. Here we plants go. here usually, so it's fine. Oh God. Stop. Get get your stupid stop on my upkeep. Oh off. God. Uh, it's okay. We're gonna. Plain you stairs. stupid idiot! It's right there, right in the door. We're dead. We're dead. No, you're fine. We're not gonna get a turn three, Michael. And then if we do, we're not gonna get a turn four. They're f we're fine. They're playing Opt. That's a terrible card. See, look, we're fine. Opt is historically a great card. Historically a great card. Wow, it's so good. I love it with my jelly beans. I love it with my jelly beans? Yeah. I get to draw a card, man. It's broken. Doesn't matter. Why does it not matter? Because we didn't hit a land, so... We'll be fine. Moochal, totally. you biscuit! <laughs> it is Moochal, my dudes. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny. Yes, it should. But it is. Oh, my God. I need to go... Just I think I'm finally awake. Wow, finally? Yeah, I've been it's sleeping. It's only 5.45, man. I've been sleeping this whole time, man. <laughs> it is Moochel's breakfast, my dudes. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. Look, no third land. Come on, man. No caffeine either, huh? It is Moochel's fault, my dudes. <laughs> I agree. Oh, God, just got ascendancy. I never don't have my combo piece, so I'm going to play my just got ascendancy, and then I'm going to do the thing with the just got ascendancy. That's how I feel about that, guys. That's how I feel. I think there's something wrong with you. I think there's something wrong with your brain. I do want that. Let me get an air horn. Is that what you really want? Let's see if there's a good one. That's basically the classic. That's the one I want. Yeah, that's definitely the one I want. I'm downloading What about bench. premium air horn, huh? Where did you see that? Right there. Oh. Hello, that, my fa That's a review. <laughs> that guy's reviewing that air horn. <laughs> it's like... Yes. Oh, Michael's birthday! You should definitely have that to soundboard. <laughs> it's good, right? It's just it's a fucking good. classic air horn. All right, we're just going to go to the next game, right? Like, I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Yeah, they probably got you. Every time there's an old format that's not like, leg, like, it's so funny. If you look at Legacy and you look at Vintage, the games are actually really interactive. Like, you probably don't think so. But they are, right? Like, they last l way longer than, like, turn one wins. And it's so funny if you look at like Modern and, like, Pioneer so far. It's just people trying to do the most degenerate shit ever with no real, like, recourse. Like, people just aren't, like able to stop you from doing your degenerate nonsense yeah, because there's like no force of will yeah because there's thing there's nothing like force of will or like mental misstep so there's nothing to keep these degenerate combos in check it's just two people like solitaring each other and it's really kind of funny Solitary feels all right for me. are you dying <laughs> Inside, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Inside, ah. Uh. The answers are not as strong as the threats, correct? And they all cost mana. <laughs> Michael's birthday! Jesus. Jesus. We have no walls in this hand, so are we, it's really kind of an uphill battle where you get either... You either get defenses against the Jeskai Ascendancy deck or you get... Uh, or you get walls. Get answers or you get threats. We got answers. It is Walls Day, my dude. I like to go to Wall Street with my walls, dude. Hmm. That's cool. Happy birthday, Moochel. Michael, happy birthday. <laughs> you got it. It doesn't matter what comes, Michael B is dumb. Do, 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 Michael B's. Lives in the trees, his name's Michael Bees. Oh my god, I get the jet. Oh, they did it wrong. Can I do Force it? a negation help against these combos? Uh, we don't have a lot of blue cards. I'm gonna negate this. 
bold strategy. Well, because I want to be able to play my arcades next turn. Plus, we have a detention sphere, and if they're looking for Jeskai Ascendancy, then we're just turning off to that. What are we going to get here? It's Mentos fresh and full of mics. Would Force of Negation help against these combos? Probably, but it is not a legal Pioneer card. Oh, that too. So. So, no. No. It's so, no. Uh, so, no. I don't know what you're doing right now. So, no. <laughs> Holy shit. That's racist. Is it? What race is it? <laughs> what race is it? I don't know. Some sort of Asian ethnicist. ethnicist. That's racist right there, buddy. Got him. Oh, look, it's Jessica Ascendancy. Hey, look. They did have it. They, they do exist. They do exist. Oh, then I'm dumb. <laughs> no, I mean, it would help for sure. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. You weren't taking a bath, you stupid idiot. <laughs> you ain't never taking a bath in your life. Yeah, well, splish splash, your opinion is trash. How about that? How about it? So we're going to go with this to get tasty treats? I don't know. He's, what am I, his dad? Yeah, I thought you were his dad. You thought wrong. It's whenever you cast, uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield. Oh, so we can just go Teo, draw a card. That's pretty sick. Mateo! Oh, they got another one? No, they don't. They're going to commune? I don't know what's going on. Commune with the gods. Rose Thorn Acolyte. They just cast that thing? This is nice. The mic's so nice, you had to commune twice. This guy's coming down. He's going to be all, wah, 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 They're going to be like, what the hell is that thing? I'll be like, you'll never know. I'll never tell. Draw a card. Oh, yes. Heliod's my boy. Draw another card. Look at this. Look at these cards we're drawing, my dudes. It is a Wednesday, my <laughs> dudes. <laughs> Why did you laugh? Why was that so funny? He's like, I don't know, man. It just was. I'm just talking about Wednesday, my dude. Wednesday is spelled really weird. It does. Wednesday. Oh, God. They just did that. I didn't put the stream on to watch Mike not wear his glasses. Please put them back no, on. I'm oh, sorry, my don't bad. don't like that. Discovery. Ooh. Here you go, guys. I'll just leave it like this for the rest. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking creepy when you slowly turn towards the camera and you look directly like into it. No, that's too slow. Uh, that's creepy, though. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. I can't cast spells on my turn? <sighs> Good lord, man. <laughs> Is this a spell? Everything's a spell, huh? Is this a spell? Everything's a spell? Okay, well. Oh, Mentos of Fresh and Full of Life. Z Fresh Maker. Yeah, Z Fresh Maker. I know. Whoa! We beat the Jeskai Ascendancy deck with walls, my dude! Oh my god, we did it, dude. Alright, so what what have we learned? We learned that sometimes you can just get there with the walls themselves. Yeah, that seems like a decent strat. Um, Teferi seems like a sideboard card more than a really? main deck. I, he just, I sideboard him out every time. I don't know. Like he doesn't. Yeah, but we also haven't played with it yet at all. Right, and we haven't needed it either. So what do we play over it? I don't know, but it, I think we do want the slots. Do we really want that in the sideboard? I don't think we care about it at all, to be quite honest with you. Okay. Maybe we do. Switch to all one mana walls and go aggro. Swap them out for Okos. 
shit. I can see playing more defenders, though. You could play... How about this? You cut the three Teferis, you play one more Assault Formation, and you play two more Walls. It's pronounced Tarifi. Sorry. Cut three Tarifis. It's nice. You want to play Scuttle Gator? What does that thing do? Scuttle Gator. No, it's way too expensive. You don't like six mana Scuttle Gator? Play the, the Flyers. The Flying Bros. Quit scratching yourself, man. Why not? You sound like, why not? Yeah. That's not how that works. What are you talking about, man? If I tell you not to do something and you can't say why not. Cut the three Teferis. Uh -huh. One Assault Formation. Uh -huh. Cut the two Doggies. The Doggies? Yeah. The Watch Dogs. No. Why would I cut those? And play four Angelic Wall. Why? Because it's got Float. I don't care about that. You should. It's very good. I don't care about you. That's like a... Uh, Are you leaking? <laughs> it's like a... Uh, Jesus Christ, he's like like a he's so special, guys. He's so special. Like a serenity. <laughs> no, that's not it. Like a Sarah Angel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Razor game. Jesus, man. I am the hero you need. I am Jesus, man. Look at this Wall of Mist 05 Defender for two. Murmuring Phantasm 05 Defender for two. Why are there so many 05 walls for two? The heat is on. You might as well play the 06 for two if you're going to go that route. And there's an 06 for two? Yeah, up. Yeah, up. Up. Left. It is up. Right there. Oh, wow. They just get better and better. God, the walls they print nowadays, I don't understand. How's that not broken? How is anybody so attacking attack. in standard? Like, yeah, but how are you attacking into it? You just can't, right? Like, you'll just be dead. How will you die from that? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Explain it to me. No, oh, I don't need to. Do we want this, like, with this, uh, where is it? Like, something like Wall of Mulch for 04 for 2? You can sack a wall to draw a card? Mm, you don't really want to be sacking walls, though. I know, you're right. I know, you're right. Why don't you just put in this god dang angelic walls? Because I'd almost rather have Wall of Essence. I don't care about the flying as much. Like, if we have a 4-4... Four, four but if we're on the beatdown plan, it's much better. But I'm saying, on a 4-4 four, four on turn 3 is almost just as good. Wait, why is that one better? Does it also have fly? No, but it says, like, whenever it's dealt damage, combat damage, you gain that much life. So, like, if they if they block with anything, you're just going to stay alive. It's better. It, it's better for not attacking, because it just does something. Okay. I'm gonna put two wall of essences in here. I'll put the three Tarifis in the sideboard. Tarifi, Tarifi. Play one oh more salt God, formation, like or one more high alert. You want the fourth high alert? Sure. Because we have. Or uh, one more assault formation. It's fine, too. The, my problem with assault formation is that you have to pay mana to, to make the defenders attack, which we just don't have a lot of. To then play the high alert. But I also don't think we need nine effects like this. Like, this and is also... Play a fun one of. A fun... I was just going to add something else, like another watchdog or, like... I think watchdog is trash. Why? It's just a 3-3 three, three for one. But then, like, you can make your arcades have indestructibility. You can make your Axeman Guardian have indestructibility. Like, it's just not... It's not irrelevant, man. I guess so. Wow. Sold him. Oh, why are we on Esper Dragons here? Wait, what? Why would it change the deck list? Oh, because we oh, because it's no longer legal because we added sixteen sideboard cards. Take out that one Tarifi, and now we're back on the infinite wall combo. Let's get in there against Lawtons. You can't even slip it in and cheat like that. What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? Splash, splash. 
I'm gonna play first. Good for you. We ain't got any Dargans. Sweet Michael Bees. We'll draw one. Are you ready for when we draw one? Yeah. <coughs> Hope you whiff. Just kidding. Atlanta War Elf. Wow. 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 What's wrong with you, man? What isn't? Okay. That's the better question. I don't know if there's enough artifacts to bust Mystic Forge and Pioneer probably is wow you never wow. really looked into all those artifacts there's probably a bunch of dirty artifacts you can play well there's not enough in modern and pioneer is a smaller format so oh shit oh god we're dead that's where they just kill us and we have no recourse no rehorse gg no rehorse i guess we can just play two four fours wait hold on what Okay. If you play high alert, mm -hmm. you can almost kill the Sahili. Oh, that's interesting. And they can't minus it because they don't have to. They just blink it with the with the dang with it, the guardian. Right. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. I mean, it's still no. It's not great. If they have the guardian, they win anyway, right? Because they 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 yeah. play the guardian. They blink Sahili. Sahili comes back at full. They blink the horse. They blink the guardian. Like it's back. And, and playing forth. two dudes doesn't really do anything. It well, it does next turn we can attack for like a thousand, so then we definitely get to deal with Sahili. Just cast. I ain't got no. So as long as they don't have it this turn, then we're fine, right? Totally have it. They never sure. don't have it. I've never played against a, a player that did not have it. So get this ready to go. I mean, they put a card on top of their library last turn, which makes me think, like, either you needed the fourth land or you need the the guardian. The and, little goat. And, like, if it's any <laughs> the little goat. And if it's anything other than those, I just wouldn't keep it. Well, I think technically it's a cat. It is a cat. I don't know why you called it a goat. Because it looks like a goat, man. A goat man? Yeah, it looks like a goat man. All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, that's not it at all. Oh, wow. Wait, what just happened? Oh, we made a copy of that. Okay, but now you... What's happening right now? You get a two-drop? Oh, God. You untap this? Oh, shit. Are they going to win? Oh, God. Is there a three-drop you can get? That untaps this? What the... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. But they already used... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Bellringer's not legal in this format. Yeah, now they get Guardian. Wow. Well, that was impressive. Please ban that combo. <clears throat> well, shit. <coughs> well, shit. Sometimes you just gotta welsh it. Uh, okay, so we take out the Teferis. Already gone. I thought we already did that. Yeah, that was the joke. Why are you bringing rest in peace? Because they have Renegade Rallyers, so they have to get things back from their graveyard for their third thing. Oh. Okay. It's probably just better to get in the gate. Or detention here, actually. Ugh. God. We have like no outs to this because if we like unless we negate the Shahili. The Shahili. Shahili. I'll get it wrong every time, don't worry. <laughs> la 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 the one land hand. 
ha, 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 ship it back. Keep this hand da 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 da. You chose right. Mm, Good job. Thank you. Do I play oh, this resolute dog on the turn? Thank you. I wouldn't. I'd wait. Get the value. No, just get rid of Shahili. Sahili. <laughs> Sahili, Sahili. Oh my god, when you talk like that, you make Michael go mad. Alright, I'm just gonna rest in peace here. Rip <coughs> Rip it up. Rip it and ship it. Ooh, look, they got the fancy man. Across. Take a little trip it. A trip it? Slip it? Trip it up. Into oh, shape. that thing. Good lord. Oh, good. They did it again. Oh, they did it again. I remember when we played this combo deck and we just literally crushed everybody it because was, it's so stupid. It was really good. God, I hope you don't have it. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, I don't think they'd be that confused about Rest in Peace when they literally played Renegade Rallyer and they know their graveyard is relevant to their Vanifer combo, but I guess, like... You ready? The reason this combo should be banned is the same reason Splinter Twin and Modern should be banned. When Splinter Twin and Modern actually has uh, more threats. <coughs> oh, look, they're going to destroy the rest in peace that they're so confused about us playing. <laughs> or they know it shuts off a very real line to them winning. So, blue, black, green, white. Nope, let's get a white. <clears throat> I mean, if Splinter Twin in Modern is banned, then... Uh, this should be banned in Pioneer, right? Right, where you have fewer answers. I guess Splinter Twin's a little more degenerate because you got the whole Flash thing going on. But... Right, but like you play this on turn three and they just have to have an answer. Like, if they don't have an <laughs> instant speed removal spell that kills either of the pieces, you're just boned. Here comes Vanifar. Oh, baby, baby, oh. Yep, and then they just went right. Yep, and they sack the elf to get quarter monitor, untap Vanifar, sack the. Well, they can just sack <coughs> the, the Knight of Autumn to get a four drop, right? That's true, they could just do that. Yeah. Jesus, God. I'm just trying to play Arcade Sabbath here. God. <clears throat> what Arcade is the... Arcade um, Sabbath. Mustang Salad. Mustang Burn Salad? What's the other card? Isn't there another card like this? Creatures on the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Hushbringer is a thing. The sad thing is it shuts off our, uh... Oh, Hushwing Griff is what I was thinking. <clears throat> creatures under the battlefield are dying, don't cause abilities to trigger creatures under the battlefield. Creatures are battling from the... Yeah, see, Torpor Orb is also what I was thinking. But that is not Pioneer Legal. What's wrong with Hushbringer? Uh, nothing. I mean... But this is a 3-3. Three, three. So, Takatli Honor Guard is a 3-3 three, three in our deck. Hushbringer is only a 1-2 in our... 2-2 two, two in our deck. It does have flying and lifelink though, and it also turns off the dying abilities too. Yeah, I think Hushbringer's good. Do we have any Hushbringers? Probably not. Hold on, let me find the white enchantment. We have one. What does that mean? Put three of these dudes in the side. B! <clears throat> take out the two of those. Take out the other wall of essence. Mike B, Sally. I would say Hushbringer's art is what's wrong with it. Correct. Really? What's the art? Oh, you haven't seen the art? Not up, not fully, not bigified. Hush B. <clears throat> Bigify it for me. No. Wow. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn the Bigify, Michael. Why don't I have to earn it? Authority of consoles? I guess that's fine too. 
Oops. Wait. Why? Mm, okay, here we go. You want to see it? Here, I'll show you. Is that what you were going to look up? Yeah. I'm going to find it on my own. Yeah. I'll, you won't even show me, so I'll just find it on my own. It's a little weird. Oh, there's lips floating around it. Oh, oh that's yeah. weird. And look at these like large photorealistic lips in the background. Oh, there's more lips over here. I didn't even notice these lips. No, that's oh. an eye. No, these are lips and teeth. Oh, you're right. It looks <laughs> like an eye, kind of. How does it look like an eye? Like, this kind of looks like a, like a pupil, <laughs> and that kind of those little cracks in the lip kind of. What look is it, like... a goat eye with a square pupil? <laughs> I didn't realize the lips floating around it. I don't know. I still think it's. I mean, it's well done. No. Hmm. See, the thing is, like, they have clearly they always have. Um, they always have Night of Autumn, right? Like, if they're going for the Vanifar combo, they have Night of Autumn so, to search for. So they get Night of Autumn, kill your authority of the consoles, and then they just continue going off. They sack the Night of Autumn to to get their Felidar Guardian on a future turn, right? So, I mean, like, Hushbringer seems like it's much harder for them to deal with. Plus, yeah, you can, plus you can search it with Finale of Devastation, too, so. Hour? Do you mean Hour of Devastation? Is that you're thinking Hour of Devastation? <coughs> plus, it's just a 2-2 two -two lifelinker. I think it looks like a sweet 80s cover album. Yeah, a little bit. Are there two cues? So, because they were just filling up too fast? I don't actually understand why there's two cues. That's actually... Wait, why is there another one down here? Wait, what? This is the one I was... Okay. Wait, I don't understand any of these things. What's going on? Why are there three? What a hot mess. Let's play Wetty. Wet, wet V. Click that link. Click that link. Oh, fucking <laughs> why? Why, dude? Oh, jeez. Mouths for eyes is what you searched for here. Oh, Christ. This is terrifying. This is making me really uncomfortable. Okay, now I'm getting, like, chills. Hey, you only minimized it. <laughs> You're like, it'll come back later. Oh, this hand. You definitely mulligan this hand. It's actual garbage. Your actual garbage. You were made from the garbage toaster. Got, got him. Freaking got him. Didn't get shit, boy. Got him. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of gauntlets. How do I got an hour? Can I use emojis on here? I don't think so. We're playing against what div or wet TV. The fact that someone searched for mouths for eyes is evidence that God has abandoned humanity. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> or God never existed. Well, what if God was one of us? You know, like a stranger on a boost. Oh, this is interesting. Is it? Yeah. They got a dust. A dust? A waste. Why did you call it a dust? I don't know. I just thought <laughs> dust first. <laughs> they got a dust. Look at his dust. That was a good draw. Because if, now if we draw any other land one time, it's uh, not a land I'm looking for, but I'm still going to play the Zack Spain Guardian. <clears throat> Oh god, I hope they don't have like spatial contortion and or warping whale, because then they kill our whole our whole lives are dead. What's a warping whale? What's a Michael B? Did you know it's Michael B's birthday, y'all? <laughs> they killed our guy with spatial contortion, which is what I was afraid of. My dudes. We're just throwing all our walls out there. But next time if we draw land, we get to go, high alert. <sighs> Happy birthday, Mike. Thank you. What do you want for your birthday? Tacos. 
Tacos and burritos? Yeah, taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Oh god, they're gonna go Thought Knots here and we're just gonna lose our high alert because we couldn't hit one a third land for two turns. Maybe they don't take high alert. Maybe they don't know what's going on. They can look at the board and be like, oh, we got 10 power on board. I guess I'll take the high alert. They'll never think of that, man. <laughs> never ever think about it. What's your favorite three drop in Magic? My favorite three drop in Magic. Just kidding, it's Oko. Got him. <laughs> like you didn't even give me time. I gave you enough time. You th is Oko your favorite three drop? No, it's yours. It's, everybody. it it's everybody's. That's why. It's everybody's, okay? Oh, okay. I didn't know that was a contract. Oh, God. That's annoying. I, I didn't know that was a contract. Is that what you said? Yeah. What does that mean? What do you mean? What do you meme? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Got him. Who did you get? Your mom. More air horn, mutual happy birthday. They got a reality smasher. I'm just not even scared of it. Really? Yeah. Why would I be scared of it? They, if they attack, they take 10. With our walls. <clears throat> I suppose you're right. Actually, uh, to be fair, Frank, only one of them is a wall. The other, all three of them have the defender what quality. What if they play it and don't attack? Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Wastes? It gets plus one, plus one for each land you control named Wastes. Oh, snap-ems. That's a big boy. Your mother's a big boy. Wow. <laughs> got her. I got your mother. Land. Land. Really? Really? That just cycles. That's good. I just want to land, my dude. It is lands day, my dude. Hmm. What? Huh. What? Hmm. What? <clears throat> what are these noises you're making? That was amazing. Did your belly get shrunk on stream? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's possible. I don't know. It's cutting it close. Someone in the chat will have to tell us. No. <laughs> I fucking can't, dude. Oh, shit. What do you take here? Taking arcades is just so good. They took arcades. We have no way to deal with this. Oh, wait. Why didn't we attack last turn with our flyer? No, because we just played it. I was like, why didn't this guy flies? And I was like, oh, wait. We just played it, my dudes. Because it's Wednesday. Can anybody confirm whether Mike B's belly was just thrown on stream? <laughs> Does anyone want to clip that and make it a Mike B belly clip? <laughs> Mike B's belly clip. No, I'm just going to double block here because why not? It is a Wednesday. Oh, look, the land we, we desperately needed. Hmm. So we can finale for four. That doesn't seem good. We can just play Orator. Orator. I like my little Orator. Is this what you want to? Is this what you want to be like? Yes. It's interesting. Or we can just play Heliod. I don't think Heliod does anything. Nope. Showdown. No belly confirmed. God, you got so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got pretty lucky. Pretty so lucky, lucky yeah. dude. Mike B. Belly Stream! <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good, my dudes. No belly on stream blocked by recent donation. Blocked by a recent donation. I didn't even see no donation. <laughs> Look, there's Warping Whale. That's the card I was afraid of. It literally kills every oh, that's creature pretty much the nuts. deck. You're not really doing anything, though. Yet. Island. It is islands, my dude. Nice field of ruin, idiot. I'll block. I'll double block. They didn't let me double block. Sylvan Crady Tid. Crady Tid? What? Get in there with this guy. This guy just floats right on over your brain. Your brain can't even handle my flow. <clears throat> 
so we can actually um, still keep this up to to give indestructible to something. Yeah, you know what? You got it. I can't stop these things. We're just gonna win in three turns with the Aura Turbo Jutai. Look how good floating is. He's. I mean, you're not wrong. Sunny, sunny, sunny D. It'll burn your throat. <clears throat> son of a son, son of a son, son of a sunny D. That's not even a song. Sure it is. No, it ain't. Do we just wait to get. Your boy. Your boy. Yeah, boy. Um, because if we get one more land, we can go get Arcades. But now I'm just tempted to get four four flyer and then just have the win on the board. One, two, three, four. Done. Search the library. Or to Regitai. Pass the turn. Are we really just winning with Orator of Ajitize? That seems ridiculous. I mean, they have Whale in the deck, not in their hand. I mean, we didn't see any in their hand, right? Oh, we win the game. Wow. I was not expecting this. <coughs> Uh, Hushbringer actually seems good against their... Wow, against Matter Shaper and against the other dude. That's interesting. Let's take the Watchdogs out. Take the Watchdogs out. I'll bring in two Detention Spheres to get rid of Reality Smashers as well. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Does anybody know this song Mike is singing? The Son of a Son song? I feel like it's a fake song, but. It's a real song. Is it. Does anyone. Can anyone vouch for this being a real song? It's by Joe Pesci. It's a Joe Pesci song. <laughs> hey man, I like your frog face. This hand Ugh. seems mulliganable. I'm no expert. I'm going to ship it, though. Okay, I'm going to keep this. I like it. Okay. It's by Jimmy Buffet. Jimmy Buffet. Mm hmm. So, there's a clip to it right there. Something carry added. It's actually pretty good. What are we getting here? Oh, you want know, planes? Okay, we'll do planes. Wow. Hey, you thought I was joking. I didn't. I you don't know. You just made up this crazy melody and song. I know. It's a that lot of That would be pretty impressive, right? No, nothing you do is ever impressive. Nothing. Son nothing. Of son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what you are. <laughs> wow. Why'd you play it now? Oh, never mind. Doesn't oh, have flash. Never mind. Doesn't okay. have flash. Thought I had flash. <laughs> They're going to Warping Whale it or Spatial Contortion it, but that's fine, I guess. Yeah, what are you going to do? They shouldn't have played it. I guess I should have just held it in my hand until the end son of the Son of a son of Scrober. <laughs> oh, Lord. Take the long way home. What are you going to name? What do you name here? Sorceress Flyglass. What do I even... I don't know what he names here. I don't know. The fairy? That's that would be a weird choice. They didn't like they didn't see anything. What activated abilities do they see? Sylvan carry added. Is it non mana? Unless they're mana. No, that works too. <clears throat> Resolute watchdog. I don't understand. I feel like we got lucky with this. I'm pretty sure it's a blank against us. <laughs> they did name Resolute Watchdog. That's hilarious. Buddy, I boarded those doggies out. 
Those doggies were sent home so they could get their pets. Scroba remix, insert air horn here. Oh, yeah. Just put it on the thing, man. I'm, I can't do it right now. Why not? Because I got to download it. I got to convert it to an MP3. I have to make a thing oh, it for a whole it. Thing, huh? It's a whole thing. Okay. All right. You excuse this time. Ratchet bomb. These are all very interesting decisions that are being made here. Oh, it's a little hushy. I am your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he says on Arena? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking... I have no idea what he says. That's hilarious, though. I am your daddy. <laughs> oh. Hey, Dragon Daddy. <clears throat> who, has, who has got the time for that? You're right. Did you just say rat shit bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Dude, you guys are killing Michael over here. I want a detention sphere of this. Son of a son of a scrober. Put gauntlets on the dragon man. Uh, dragon man can't deal damage equal to toughness. So that seems pretty bad. Dragon man, dragon we also don't have a gauntlets. Dragon man. I'm your dragon man, your dragon man. I kind of just want to get rid of this because they're going to make it big enough, but maybe I just don't care. Just wait, we have another copy. We got a backup. Back it up. Back, I back know, it I didn't up. I play Hush Springer, though. Because this is on two, so they could just pop it and kill it. Who cares? I guess no one. What? They're taking it. They're making a thing? That's interesting. That's a weird line. I guess, see, they would have warping weld our Hush Springer if we played it, so. Maybe not. Gauntlets make it deal damage? Oh, God, you're so smart. The gauntlets let him do peach damage? What does that even mean? <laughs> he just wanted to post his peach emoji. That's all that was really happening there. What a son of a scrober. I guess we'll get in there. This guy didn't have haste or reach. I'm going to move my microphone. Yeah. Because it is mutual, <laughs> my dudes. That's how go. I don't know why you guys watch this stream to be quite honest with you. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to play detention sphere yet either because then they just because this ratchet bomb is a real piece of work. Which means we probably should have played hollowed fountain for every reason. You should Google that and see what big butt damage shows up. Don't do that, and definitely don't link it. Oh, what does this do? Okay, for each legendary permanent, right? So it still costs four. This guy's got trample. I'll just take it. Let's play this guy. Oh, we shut off our own arcades. That's the worst, Wait, dude. what? Creatures under the battlefield don't trigger, so... We don't get to draw a card. Oh. It is... <laughs> I want to get rid of this, but then they just pull the ratchet bomb, and that's really bad for us. <gasps> hip, hip, hip. Let's give it another turn. They're not going to kill us. They might, though. No, they won't. They might. <clears throat> How are they going to kill us? Explain it to me. They attack for eight? Uh-huh. I don't understand what you're asking. So we go to three. Right. Uh-huh. And then what? Then we're at three. And then they attack us for eight again. Well, no, because they're going to up their ratchet bomb. They have not done that for two turns. That's true. I know. Oh, Jesus. That's a big oh, move. Only get one land. Oh, that finale would have been nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Son of a son of a scrober. <clears throat> well, the son of a scrober man, yes, he was. He was. Oh, man, we actually have five. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, that's close. God, this 
this ratchet bomb is actually problematic. Do they kill anything other other than their own our own stuff? No. Wow, that's brutal. The son of the Michael B. This is actually surprisingly difficult to deal with right now. Yeah, because we have no removal. Thank you. Our deck is removalless. This is also only dealing one. I thought it was dealing two. What is it only dealing one? I don't think Spearing Bomb does anything, but... It's only dealing one because it doesn't have Defender. <clears throat> oh, okay. I mean, this is pretty rough. Yeah, we're actually probably dead because the mobilized district. We just don't have enough power. Like, we can block three and five here and chump block here, but then the district gets through. Oh, uh, yes. Man, I would love to be drawing cards off this. I, I think Hushbringer is actually worse now that. Uh, I realize it does not actually interact favorably with like arcades. Well, I think you still want it for this. No, I think we'd rather have matchup. authority of the consoles. But we ran into the problem of Autumn of Night, right? Head of Autumn. Right, but that's only the Autumn of Night situation, right? Like, yeah, this is just too much damage. I mean, if they don't have that version, like, then it's still it's still fine against a matchup like this, where. But then again, like, you're not shutting off the enters the battlefield abilities, so like, it's not you're not even gonna bring it in here, really. A lot of artifacts. I think our draws are just not great there. I'm gonna take a one hush for a detention sphere. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can win this round. You like that? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banana nail. Better Are you are you okay? You're acting super weird right now, my dude. Why am I not? Never. Literally never, so that's a valid point. Well, or never. What? Come on, one land. One land. We should not be missing lands here. Do you think there's an Aristocrats deck without Rally the Ancestors? Uh, why do you need to have one, though? Can't you just play Rally the Ancestors? Come on, one land. Okay, never happens. I'll see the land now. Show me the land. Show me that land again. Show me that land. This guy's going to get shrecked. Yep. I got there. Oh, we could have played a salt formation. God, I'm so bad at this game. Here we go. Matter Shaper. Filigree familiar. What do you do, little guy? What in tarnations? Tapping lands is hard. Cause tapping lands is hard to do. They say that tapping lands is Michael B. That's Michael B. You got it. Take whatever you like. You can take whatever you like. Oh, 
Good song, man. It's a really good song, dude. Yeah. I was jamming out. Today. Today, Junior. Okay, one of the two finales. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> you fall asleep, man? Yeah. Can you not instead? No. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So we can go one, two. Do it with a green instead. Do, 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 do. Okay, so. Oh, we can put gauntlets on this guy. Why? Because then we get to attack for 10. You don't believe in attacking for 10? I don't believe in anything. <laughs> Typical. This guy's got... This is a 10-10 hexproof creature, Michael. Oh, we can finale for a, an 04 Ojitai, a wall of Ojitai, and then we draw two cards from it. That's gas. That's a four mana 4-4 four four that draws two cards and it comes into play. That's like a really good Mole Drifter. 4-4 four four Flyer. <clears throat> I think we're winning this match. I'm feeling good about it, Michael. Feel good. Can you tell us about the Garenbrig, Castle Garenbrig? <laughs> Castle Garenbrig. I love that place. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this deck is actually fine. Thank you. Without the infinite combo. If you're just like trying to focus on the stupid. When it enters the battlefield, if you reveal the dragon card or control a dragon, draw a card. What are you. He did draw a card. Right, but then whenever a creature with defender is in the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Why did I only draw one card? don't know when Ortero enters the battlefield if you reveal the dragon card or control the dragon as you cast this oh as you cast this spell draw a card interesting if you reveal the dragon card or control the dragon as you cast it that's an interesting distinction Is it worth trading with this Thought Knots here? Yeah, probably. Right, as initial cost, you may reveal the dragon card from your hand. That's not the, the relevant part, though. When Orator Vojedi enters the battlefield, if you reveal the dragon or control the dragon as you cast the spell draw card. Oh, all right, well. So I guess we don't draw two cards from that because you're not casting it. <clears throat> okay, so we're 2-2 two -two with this deck. That's actually pretty impressive. It's funny because we have four Axbane Guardians and four, three, four Sylvan Caryatids and I feel like we're still kind of getting mana missed. You know what you could do with this tell, deck? Tell me what I could do. Is play... Like two more assault formations and just cut the combo and go aggro I just don't think we need I still don't think we need 10 of this of this card though like these guys do nothing on their own but without them you can't win right well you don't need 10 of them what does the deck look like with a combo I mean like you literally just be taking out like gauntlets and colossus and Hel Heliod's pilgrim the point of the deck is the combo I understand that but like uh, it gets to a point like when when you guys have me critique a deck like it gets to the point where I'm like is it worth this to do like yeah this seems it seems like the beatdown plan is pretty good and if you took out the combo you could probably make room for like removal and stuff I mean we're definitely we're not like we're not actively trying not to combo here right but like it gets to a point where like having four four having to have four copies of of 
of Defender out, one of them has to be an Axe Bane Guardian, and one of them has to be a Gauntlets in play, and then you have to have Finale as well. Like, I get to a point where sometimes that's just a little difficult. Let's right. make it a nice 3 2. Let's give it a nice win. Win for the boys. One more. I think you've gone so far down the beatdown plan where I don't think that's true. I, what did I change that made it... I mean, I didn't really change anything that made it... You just it... haven't drawn it that much. Like, I didn't add anything that wasn't in the original deck, really. Like, this was... This is the combo piece. You guys wanted four of these, so I put four cards devoted to that. Finale is basically the same as Chord. We definitely have that. Colossus is, is relevant. Uh, arcades is the relevant component that makes uh, the deck work. The density of defense. Like, what am I cutting to put more defenders in, though? Like, the only non defenders are literally cards that make the deck work. Right? Like, these are all defenders. Like, these are defenders. This is 20 defenders. This is 8 cards that make the defenders actually able to attack. If you cut the, Pil the Heliod's Pilgrims and the Gauntlets, then you don't have the combo. That's literally the combo. And then here are the cards that find your win condition and your combo. Like, I feel like you guys are are saying things, but, like, I'm, I'm just making sure we understand that, like, I'm trying to, like... Yeah, 20 defenders is a good amount. It's also like, I don't know what, what do we cut to put more defenders in. Like, you can't cut the gauntlets. You guys wanted four gauntlets. So I'm like, this is basically four gauntlets, but you can search for them now with Finale, which makes it actually eight gauntlets, technically. Right? So, like, you have to have these cards. Like, you can cut the Assault Formation, but you guys wanted the Assault Formation, so I put that back in. Um, we have, I think, four arcades is correct. You could probably go to three because you might draw excess of them, but I think drawing excess of them and actually has been helping us hit land drops and, and extra walls and things um yeah i just don't think there's a room you guys insisted on angelic wall and so like i put angel or or to Rogitai, which is just a better version um you also had wall of essence and i'm like resolute watchdog was in order to protect the axe bane guardian so that's part of the combo so i'm not even sure like what you guys would want me to cut or, like, add more of. Or, like, what I'd cut to add more of something. Yeah, because... we're also only playing 24 lands, which seems like bare minimum, so... Right, like, you can't go down to 23 lands. We've been having mana troubles consistently. Um, I could see cutting, like, one finale of Devastation for, like, another wall, but... I could see cutting, like, the one Assault Formation for a wall, but... That's about it. Like, you can cut one assault, but, like, Even then, then, like, you guys like, like having the infinite combo with the creatures you control get plus O plus one until end of turn. But the problem is, like, not a lot of you guys have trample. So, like, they're just going to be like, all right, I'll block a bunch of dudes. And you're like, okay. So, like, if there were anything that, if there was anything that was going to be cut, I'd see cutting, cutting these two. I don't think the combo's bad. But I mean, like, even without me playing it, like, I think we have to agree that a six-card combo is just um, a little fragile. Like, when, when you have, like, a something like Sahili Feldar Guarding, which is a two-card combo, that wins on turn four. You would cut all the high alerts in Assault Formations? But then how do you win? Yeah, then your only way to attack is with is, your is arcades or like seems really or like hoping that you I mean like I guess you get infinite mana with this right but then like you have no pressure whatsoever not all of them just some of them yeah, I don't like that you like also most combo decks that are good are ones that can like don't have just one angle it's nice to have two angles Yeah, but copycat is also a two card combo it just wins on turn four like we have to like assemble a bunch of things hmm i mean like we could play like two jotty offshoots cut like one finale in the hot in the, the assault formation i think 
Okay, we could try that, I guess. Also, like at the end of the day, it's just a three-three. That's not that, not that big. What this? Yeah. Right. What do you mean? What do you, what's your point? My point is like, does playing two Jody offshoots really gain us anything? Like, well, you want to have like the it's it's more walls to pl to have in play when this guy comes down. Oh, okay. What is Dragon's Eye Sentry? Is that the one you flip? I don't think we want... I think we want more 2 drops than rather than 3 drops. I think this is the 06. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to play... Eh. I mean, it's good as an 06. Over what, though? Yeah, but I mean, I like I wouldn't play it over anything else. And it's not really a 1 drop, because you have to play it as a more force before you do that. Oh, this guy? I mean... Oh, that guy. This is just worse than Jotty Offshoot, right? I mean, Jotty Offshoot's gaining us life. This guy is first strike, so it's a 3-3 first striker, but, like... I mean, I think that's worse than Jotty Offshoot. I don't think the combat's going to be relevant that frequently, rather than, like, gaining three or four life off this guy over the course of a game. I just have to keep going back and forth to see which one fills first. Is there a world where we can make edits to be creature dense enough to use collect company to dig for combo pieces? It seems like getting four defenders on board. I agree with that actually. That's interesting. That is interesting. The problem is we'd have to cut four more things for collected company. I mean, at that point we could probably cut one arcades, right? Because I don't know. We can cut crashing drawbridge probably. Like I really hate cutting arcades. It seems like such an engine for your deck. But then you get a hand like this where you're like, I have one wall. But it's still, I'd probably keep it because of this. But like... I'll keep it. I mean, I'm not going to mulligan a good hand just because it doesn't have the combo. So it's like, it, it puts me in a weird, a weird box where I have to like... Johnny Offshoot. Something carry added? That's actually really good. That is a turn three arcades into crashing drawbridge, which is nice. You know, if we don't die before then. It is a spirit, my dudes. Okay. I mean, I'd rather deal with spirits than heroic, to be quite honest. I think heroic's a little too fast. Oh, that's interesting. Untap land? No. Blue, white, green, any color. Black. All right. Can you not kill this so we can draw three cards next turn off of Dog Dog Bridge? Dog Dog Bridge. You ever play Dog Dog Bridge when you were a kid? I love Dog Dog Bridge. All right. All right. Guess I was asking for too much. Well, we have no way to deal with that other than drawing another arcades. So. Doesn't look like spirits, just looks like blue white monument. Yep. Well, <sighs> unfortunate. I want to keep a dog in hand just because if we draw an arcades I want to be able to draw something else wow yep this is pretty good <sighs> all friends to know for that scries one for yeah that's not ideal I think we're dead uh not sure doesn't look good Yep. 
Okay. Flying, flying, 9, 9. So we take 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, so this got a little out of hand. Go to 2. See if we can win this turn. Ready? Can't. Okay. Alright. Let's bring in detention spheres. You doing okay with your what's how you how's your, what's, what's going on with your mouth? Hmm? Gotta run. I hope this gets better. Don't forget to respond to my Discord. I will do. Ben, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Are you I was asking if you were okay because you were doing some weird bullshit with your mouth. I don't know what you're talking about. You you don't? No. Oh god. I will play first. You know what? I'll keep it. You might say I'll snap keep it. Oh, well, this is a snap keep. It's a keep. It's a fine keep. We're going to draw arcades. We're going to play it on turn three again. No blocks. Are you ready? Are you ready for the arcades? You kids want to go to the arcade? Spooky, scary spirits then shiver. Not bad. Nailed it. And we got the detention sphere, so if they got deputy, we can go get rid of your deputy. Put your deputy in detention in detention. Detention, detention. Here we go. Ready? They're gonna be like blue, white deputy. Go, got them. Do, 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 do. And now we're gonna draw a Jotty offshoot. Gain two life. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I can just play another one, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, barbecue sauce. What? Sip a dab a tip top barbecue dab. Slipping it up. What? Are you drunk? Maybe. That's weird. Because you've been here the whole time. Yeah, you didn't see my alcohol IV. I don't know what alcohol IV is. Is that like Phil IV? No, like an IV. What's that? Like, you know, like sticking in your arm? What's IV stand for, Michael? Uh, intravenous. Nice, nice. I wasn't sure if you Yeah, were. I got you. Yeah, look at my big brain. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> look at my big brain. Check out the big brain on Mike. That's, are you going to do another one? No, you're just going to play Handwire Militia Captain. That's right. You was my motherfucker. The only right. defender would have been good there. I agree with you. What are you detentions for? Uh, his Handwire Militia Captain, so it doesn't flip. If you control four more creatures, you transform it. I mean, it only would have been 4 4. Yes, but then he makes 1 1s at the end of every turn. Oh, yeah. You never played Magic before? No. <laughs> Buddy, I know it. I'm just going to get in there with this guy. I don't feel like having them, like, block, block, and then I get to kill this, and then they go back out and just. Bang, 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 bang. Our world just finished downloading and tomorrow's my day off. Oh, looks like someone's getting lucky. Oh god, don't have another. I don't know what this is. Oh, you're just gonna wish for something? Oh, I wish. In a world of pure imagination. What'd you get? No catcher's monument? Alright. Well. Moneymaker Mike. Is that your name? I guess so. Remember when Moneymaker won World Series Poker? He did. Chris Moneymaker? Yeah. He's kind of the guy that set off internet poker. That guy was like the pioneer. We are like one man away from just casting this dude. He looks like a weird redneck though. You so. look like a weird redneck too though. Oh, dang it. Got him with the weird... Dang it. Stupid idiot. Like he reminds me of a... Uh, um, the one actor from... The baseball show, the funny baseball show. 
the funny baseball show. Yeah, on HBO or whatever. A League Showtime. of Their Own. Maybe. No. What's his name? Angels in the Outfield. No. <laughs> Such a name in random baseball. Rookie of the Year. No. <laughs> it's like the adult show. Oh, Field of Dreams. No, it's not Field of Dreams. Hmm. The Sandlot? No. <sighs> Brewster's Millions. Bad News Bears. <laughs> Moneyball. Was it Moneyball? No, it was not, Moneyball not even a... <laughs> uh, not even what? Was it Major League? I'm Major League looking, Two. I'm looking it up. Was it okay. Major League Two? I bet it was Major League Two. Can we go to combat? What's the, what's the hold up here? Today, Junior. I bet it was Major League Two. Eastbound and down. Oh, I didn't know we were talking about Kenny Powers. Yeah, Kenny Powers. He looks like Kenny Powers. Huh. They even have a similar talk. They have a, a similar a talk. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dying, man. In fact. Look at these guys with the similar talk. In a world of pure Mike B. Ration. Oh, so we're going to have another deputy and get rid of this arcades. They didn't, they didn't do it. Why wouldn't you play this Fay of Wishes? You got Counterspell? What's happening right now? Just like Mike B, they long to be close to you. Let's see if this resolves. You think it will? I doubt it. We just hard cast at a Colossus of Akros. Come on. And we drew a card off of it. Oh boy. This guy getting in there? I don't know what you could have. Okay, nothing. I ain't afraid of those ghosts. You like that Ghostbuster song? Cloud Blazer. Alright, that's fine. I accept. See, look. Kenny Powers. Chris Moneymaker. Same guy. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. Wow, you're not kidding. Same guy. Oh, that's crazy. I'm Kenny Powers! <laughs> that show's pretty funny. I've seen like one season of it. I agree with you. Look, I get to draw two cards as well. Oh, Axe Bane Guardian? Where's your haste? One, two, three. Johnny offshoot? Might as well. A Johnny offshoot? Wish I gained wish I saved my land. I could have gained a life. What an idiot. I didn't know how deep we were going here. He's like, that's it, I'm gonna counter that Johnny offshoot. It's like, for real? Mm -hmm. We can just win next turn. We could just win next turn. You got it. All right, we're at 12. They're going to pay some costs. What are they doing? What's uh, happening? Now they're going to pay some costs. They didn't do anything. Okay. I don't know why they haven't played this yet. Sure. We just kill them. What is this? One... Two, three, four, five. This guy's gonna tap for five mana. Okay. 
Bustin' makes me feel good. Alright, none of these things are relevant to my interests. I feel like they don't have a counter spell, right? Okay, so we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five. Put on this guy, pay two. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually spell queller. Okay, so they're still they're still not in great shape because we still have Heliod's Pilgrim. Or Detention Sphere. Oh, that's a good one too. I like that. Let's do that. God, he's so smart. Michael, how you get so smart? Can I have this back for now? Do 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 Sesame Street. You like Sesame Street? Put it on this dude. How to get them up Sesame Street. Alright. Five. Uh one, two. Add X mana. One, two, three, four, five. Add X mana. One, two, three, four, five. Untap you. One, two. Add X mana. One, two, three, four, five. All of it. Um. Attack. I mean, send in the clowns. This just feels like we win, right? I don't know. I'm no expert. There are 13. They have to block 14 of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Even if you put all 14 power in front of this, like, oh, no, that's not how that works. They have to block 8 of it, I guess. But then everything else is attacking as well, so. Do you think they're dead? I don't know. We comboed, okay? Heliod Pilgrim is only aura, yes, otherwise it'd be insane. And you can get, like, Banishing Light, Detention Sphere, Assault Formation, High Alert. You would actually play four of them. Did they know this has, they don't know that this has Trample? I guess not. It doesn't say trample on here. Oh, it does. It says, can attack as though it didn't have defender, trample, assigns combat damage based on toughness. Oh, they're just dead then. <laughs> yeah, my dude. <laughs> trample right on over. Trample right on through. <laughs> Did they just think it was a 2020 without trample? That's hilarious. No, sir. What does Hushbringer do against them? Uh, it shuts off Spell Queller, Deputy of Detention, and the guy that draws you two cards. The Mole Drifter part. Cloud Blazer, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Is that good enough? Prob. Maybe. All their shit is creatures, which is annoying. It also turns off our Ojitai, it turns off a Hero Lens Pilgrim, and it turns off our Arcades, which is pretty bad. I think we're fine like this. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We can play anything, and we gain so much life. We gain one, two, three, four life. God, we're just basically. How do you lose? You can't. Wow. I can see forever. You can see forever. Oh, Goyim. Don't talk to me like that. Like your Goyim. I don't know what that means. You gibbly goobly Goyim. Stop saying Goyim. What does Goyim even mean? It doesn't mean anything. Usually disparaging a term used by a Jew to refer to someone who is not Jewish. It, it actually can't mean anything. It has a specific definition. Maybe you do. Right? That's Goyim. I'm saying Goyim. Okay, Goyim. It was bad enough. Uh, okay, let's look up. Any non-Hebrews. Basically everyone except Hebrews and Sephardim. Okay, so same thing, right? 
I guess so. Okay. Are you done? No. Okay. I'll never be done saying goyim. That's weird. I'm not going to block your 2 1. Are you going to spell Queller? God, they're going to spell Queller. It's going to be just. It's going to be May. May? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. Let's put Wall of Essence first. Because I'd rather have Carry Added survive. Oh, they didn't have anything. Oh, fascinating. So what do we have? One, two, we have six mana next turn for finale, so we can get arcades. That's pretty sweet. Seems a decent. Do you think it seems Dece Plus? Yes. Wow. Dece to Dece Plus. That's crazy. Oh, shoot. Look at this dude. Look at this little bird boy. That sucks. Oh, we still have the one to pay. No, we don't. Yeah, we do play land. Okay. So that's four. Uh-huh. Five. Uh-huh. Six. Uh-huh. Six. Yeah. Still six. Okay. Okay, you're right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. Congratulations. I uh, thought Jody Offshoe was another <sighs> mana tapping for some reason. Dear God. What's it like being this awkward? Pretty cool. Is it cool? Yeah, man. It's cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm just going to pass here then. Yeah, X equals three does nothing for us. We don't have any floaty boys, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. Guess we'll take threes. X Bane Guardian. Now we can go get our cages. Do we just want to play Axe Bane Guardian? For what? It's to win next turn with gauntlets? Oh, sure. The problem is, if they do have Spell Queller in hand. But they didn't have it last turn. Well, or they did, and they just didn't care about the cards we were playing. I think this is safer. Oh yeah, search that library. Librario. Deal 10? Yikes. Wow. Jesus. Well, I mean, they could just have Deputy of Detention in hand. Which is why you need, like, four arcades, because it just... Yep, I never don't have that. Mmm, don't like that. No, don't like that. High alert, other arcades. Come on. It's, it's not it. One, two, three, X Baney boy. Spell Queller and the combo bees. I'm gonna get rid of it. Well, now our deck doesn't do much by itself. Oh, look, they had it? They're just like slow rolling it? Maybe they have two. Why wouldn't you just play it for the Axe Bane Guardian then? I don't understand. I don't either. None of these guys have reach? Nope. Good lord. Can we just draw a high alert here? And hope they don't have a second spell queller? Land again. Alright, we got one more turn, I guess. We can make infinite mana here, but we have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh, we have drawn? That would have been good. Yep, cool. 
either way, this deck seems sweet. I mean, like, you know, I, I think it obviously needs some work, but I don't know if the work is even, like, there's a lot of things to do. Like, we just, as we mentioned in previous conversations, like, it's hard to maximize your combo. Um, because it's a six card combo, right? So you're initially, you're, you're trying to be cute to begin with, right? So there's going to be limitations on what you could do. But, like, the fact is, I think a lot of our wins came from the, like, high alert Arcadis because you're getting really good value on 03 and 04 creatures that can attack for 3 and 4 when you play them as walls. And you're reliant on playing, like, high alert or arcade, high alert or arcades. Like, I think you, the deck might even be better if you just took out, like, the combo altogether and just maximized on walls and play, like, a collected company. I think it's a different deck, but it's also probably pretty good. I don't know. Like, it felt like we were actually holding our own. And if we can actually just land a, an Arcades or a Hyler when we have, like, 04, 04, 03, 04, it's pretty good. I don't know. Deck is sweet, though. Like, I enjoyed it. And uh, No Beats, appreciate the opportunity to play it. Hopefully you guys got some ideas at the very least. Even though I know you guys are full bore on the combo. It just... It's, like, realistically, we got to talk about a six-card combo when, when Sahili is a two-card combo, you know, or, like... You know, something like that. Either way, thank you guys so much for, for letting me play it. If you guys want to have your own Dex Critique, definitely send me an email at frankandfrankreport.com. You can find how to do that uh, or, or how to message me down below my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description as well. So check those out. You can also check out patreon.com slash franklapore. All of these things you can find below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.